Hi, we at Hi Show help partially sighted people to use electronic devices. My name is Igor Karasi. Recently, I invented and developed a unique access system for the blind based on a tactile computer mouse. Fortunately, I personally have only minor problems with my vision, but I have worked extensively with the visually impaired, both the blind and the seriously disabled, in order to assist them in using a computer. Okay, for the beginning, please have a look at this. Here is a standard Microsoft Hearts game. Anything here strike you as being strange? Yes, this is how it looks to many visually impaired people. Not pleasant, is it? If one's vision is even worse, the picture would look like this. Is it possible to play such a game? Don't you think that such vision is functionally close to blindness? But such people are able to see and want to use this ability. Is there any way to help in these situations? Hmm. Generally, the means used for that are on-screen magnifiers, which provide scale factors from 2 to sometimes 32. Let's see if this can really help if we use, for example, a magnification equal to 8. Oof! Seeing only this, is it easy to understand exactly what this image means and where to move the cursor to get the next necessary piece of information? And what about moving objects or dealing with partially or completely blank areas? Let's go back to the game. Please watch how it looks during play with a standard magnification of 8. Are you ready? Let's begin. When a game starts, I need to learn which cards I have by scanning and remembering all 13 cards. After that, I need to do the following. Decide which three cards are best to pass on to one of the other players. Find the passing arrow on the screen. Find out which three cards were passed to me in turn and understand the new set of all my cards. Discover if I have the two of clubs. Select this two of clubs to start the game or look for cards that have been played by others and so forth and so on. Try to imagine how it would look at even larger magnification. As you can now well understand, it is almost impossible to play such a magnified game. So, does this mean there is no solution? Yes, there is. Hi Show knows the solution and is developing it. The solution is the restructuring of information and presenting it to the user in the most perceptible form. Our approach is to reconstruct the whole screen. Look, starting a game, I immediately see all 13 cards exactly as in the standard game. After analyzing my cards, I select three and press the arrow, sending these three to another player, and instantly see three cards which were passed to me in exchange. Somebody having the two of clubs starts the round. Other players react accordingly and I have enough time and information to make a decision and put down the next necessary cards. I analyze the new situation, having enough time to remember the cards, and by pressing the next button, activate the next round. The game continues. In it, the high show user has full control of the process, which is very similar to a regular game. You now see the end of the hand, as well as the amount of each player's points, plus the totals in this game. After that, the high show user can see the results of this hand in detail. All cards taken by all four players. Now, please look at several screenshots for one more Microsoft game, Minesweeper, which we have also adapted for people with vision problems. First, its standard full-screen version looks like this. Next in our game with a magnification of 2. Now with a factor of 4 in black and white presentation. Someone may prefer white and black instead, shown here magnified by 6. And now a colored version with a factor of 8. 10 and 12 factors are also currently available in color and contrast versions. 
Our global goal is improvement in the quality of life of visually impaired people. So, don't let your own good vision stop you from being one of our supporters. Thank you very much.